Hello, Dave here. This mini morsel is installing WordPress on your local development server to mess with how you wish. So, it is famous for its five minute install. Let's put that to the test. We have two key things that we need to do here. One is to create the database and user and two is to do the actual install. Prior to doing anything here, I already have my XAMPP server up and running and that gives me my local host and that's what I'm running it on and also I've downloaded the WordPress package I've unzipped it and I placed a copy of WordPress in my document root. So let's go ahead and get started we'll go to our local host and again you can get here just by typing local host, many other ways, and from this main ZAMP screen, I go to phpMyAdmin, an easy way to get in, and phpMyAdmin, this is our, the My is for MySQL in phpMyAdmin, and this is where we can do all of our SQL type of functions. We need a database, so let's go to Home first, which is which is kind of how I start each activity. Let's go to databases, create a database. I'm going to call this mini morsel WordPress database MMWPDB. Let's create it. Now we have the database. Let's go back to home and we see that our database exists there. Let's select our database and we need a user so that WordPress can talk to this database. So we go to Privileges, Add User, and let's create our user. I'm going to call this MM User or Mini Morsel User. This is the key piece of the puzzle here, is changing this drop down to local. It pops in localhost, but this has to be local in order to work. The password, MM Pass, and typed again. And then pass, and let's go ahead and create this user. And let's verify everything's happy. We start by going home. Let's look at our databases. Go to our MMWPDB database. Review the privileges, and we see that we have MM user for the host local host. Big important piece there. And they exist and we need to remember those values. Let's go ahead and create our WordPress site. Okay, so here's uh, just Windows Explorer to my HT Docs, which is the document root within XAMPP. And I have the original downloaded version of WordPress just copied here. You can keep this anywhere. I'm just going to make a copy of it. Paste the copy, rename it, and I'm going to call this my mini morsel WordPress site, MMWP site. Okay, so now we created a site. We can go ahead and install WordPress. So from our local host, we can go local host. And what was that? Oh, let's spell it correctly. Local host. And we created the site, Mini Morsel WordPress site. And in order to install WordPress, we have to go to the WP admin directory. And this will bring up the install script. Here's our install script. Let's create a configuration file. We could do that manually, but does it for you very easy. Here's those items that it says you need before you get started. That's why we created a database. We created the user for that database. We gave it a password. We made sure that it was local host and we can choose a table prefix. We're going to go ahead and stick with the default. Let's go. What's our database? Well, we just created that. It was MMWP WPDB for Mini Morsel WordPress Database. Our user was mini morsel user, mm user, mm pass for the password, and localhost, 
And we can go ahead and leave this as a default. You can change it. Submit. Ah, all right, Sparky. Run the install. Let's give it a title. I'm going to call this Mini Morsel Site Demo. Uh, username, you should always change the admin, so I'm going to call this Mini Morsel Admin. And I'll give it password twice. Mini Morsel Pass, Mini Morsel Pass, and give it my email address. And let's install. All right, I'm logged in or success. Let's log in. And this is Mini Morsel Admin, Mini Morsel Pass. Log in. Here's our WordPress site. Let's go ahead and look at it. Ta da! And uh, a little over a minute over, but not too bad. Thank you for watching.